Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening up and giving you an overview and test of my new System Sensor SPSRL L Series Wall Mount Red Speaker Strobe. Let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so we have the SPSRL. Obviously, this is not the uh, box that will come in. This is just a um, box that the seller has packaged it in. Um, but it is the speaker strobe version of this SPSR alarm. And then it is the, um, I mean, it is the L series version of that one. It's the speaker strobe version of this P2RL. Um, but they actually do look very different because the speaker is obviously bigger than the horn. So let's go ahead and um, cut this side tape off. All right, and then see if we can kind of get through the middle here. Um, I did get a very good deal on this, so I'm very excited to add this to my collection. Whoops. Um, don't want to see anything there. Alright, sorry about that. I had to um, cover something up. But um, here is the um, uh, box. And then let's see. And there it is. This is the SPSRL. This is, oh, it looks really cool. Um, especially compared to this one. These are very, very cool arms. As you can see, it has the fire lettering on the side. Actually, I'll show you that in a second. Let's see what else is in here. So we have the mounting bracket and its paint cover, um, which is really, really cool. So, and then I don't think there would be anything else in here. Um, yeah, it seems like just some paper. So let me um, get that out of the way and show you guys what we have got here. So this is the SPSRL. I'm going to grab the um, mounting bracket out from it. Um, from this paint cover. So. so this is just if you need to paint it, you would remove this and stick that on there to keep paint from getting on here. Although, looking at this now, it does not look like someone used that properly because there is a bit of paint, but hopefully we will be able to clean that up again um, for the for the price I got it. You can't really beat it. Um, let me try and put the mounting bracket on here. Let's see if we can get it in there. Yep. So it just kind of snaps in. And then I take a screwdriver and screw it in right here. And there it is. That looks really, really good. Um, as you can see, we have our watt selector and volt selector. Um, not unlike at all this which is watts and volts but um, this one has like a darker design which is super cool um, let me just set this one off to the side right there. so as you can see this is the um, uh, system sensor sticker the label if it'll focus you can kind of read that there system sensor SPSRL indoor applications you all listed all of that um, and inside here we have a Candela Select, um, and yeah, I like the, I really like, do like the way they designed this. Um, it, the strobe especially reminds me of the P2RL. Um, as you can see, it like it has the, but it's about the same size of, as the SPSR. Kind of comparing them, and as you can see, this can. I mean, it's not too much bigger, but there's definitely a size difference there. Hold on, let me get the comparison of these two. All right, so I got the comparison. As you can see, this one's a bit smaller. And yeah, this is a really, really cool alarm. All right, so now that we've got this thing out of the box, let's give a little overview. So on the front, we have um, this grill up at the top where the speaker comes out and it comes out over the strobe and then sort of wraps around. Um, the device and then up at the top we have do not paint. On the sides we have um, these little bezels which um, say fire on them and I'm pretty sure you can buy attachments 
that will say different things in case you're in a different situation. I'm um, going down, we still have like the grill design, but the grill is closed instead of open. And we have the Candela indicator window right under the strobe, which looks similar to other L series products. Coming down, we have that same grill design um, at the bottom, but again, it is closed because the speaker is up top. And then we have the um, mounting screw. Taking off the mounting bracket, we can see that it has six wire terminals three for the speaker, one, one negative and two positives, and three for the strobe, one negative and two positives as well. We have the um, part the screw goes and the part where you would mount this on the back box. Looking at the alarm on the back of it, we have the um, label towards the bottom um, on, on the underside, and then we have these two rotary dials, which we can use to select our watts and volts. Under there, we have the um, uh, metal par parts where the mounting bracket touches and um, right above that we have the candela select slider. Now that is an overview of the alarm. Now I would like to compare this alarm to the advanced speaker strobe um, and as you can see they look pretty similar. Um, they take up the same amount of space. The rotary switches are in the same place. Um, the candela slider is pretty much the same but on the front they have very different designs. They both have the fire lettering on the side but this is more like boxy design, whereas this it sort of like flows into the um, into the bezels. Uh, the strobe on this is more circular, while it's uh, more square. Again, on this one, this one is really giving me square vibes. Um, they both have the speaker grill up top and do not paint up at the top. So definitely some similarities, but you can see that they have changed. One thing that's interesting that I found is on the backs of these alarms, this alarm has gray. For the mounting bracket and the back of it while this has just a like a lighter gray um, plastic this is plastic too but it's it's a bit darker so uh, I did find that interesting and I was wondering why they did that okay now time to get to the testing portion okay first we're gonna be testing the strobe in three two one it's set on 15 candela and it is working perfectly as you can see so that's very encouraging Okay, so now I'm going to be testing the speaker and I'm going to be playing a message using the Firelight ECC app and then I'm going to be acting the, activating the strobe with it. So let's activate the strobe. Alright, and the message. As you can see, it's very. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been an emergency reported in this area. Please proceed to the closest exit or stairwell and leave the building. Do not use the elevators. And as you can see, it is a very clear sound. And you can really hear it um, very well. And now I'm going to be testing the microphone with my voice. So I'm going to step away. Just Stepping away. Mm -hmm. Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a little echoey, but um, as you can see, my voice is pretty clear. Let's try that again. Testing one, two, three. Hello? And if I wasn't there, obviously that would be much clearer, but that is the test. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the test, unboxing, overview, and comparison of this new SPSRL that I've gotten. Um, I hope you look forward to seeing this in future videos. It's definitely going to be in um, Saturday's system test. And anyway, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day, and goodbye.